besties, aren't they that? Even if something's not good for you, they kind of want you to have the experience. I don't, I'm not sure what that is about friends. All right, hi, Mike, how are you? Hi, Lupe, how are you? I'm good. good. That's good. So what a juicy role to be part of. I mean, this is a, like the perfect date night movie, right? Yeah, right. It's, it, it's a perfect kind of film to get the one you love to cuddle up next to you and, and, and grab you tight and look for protection, you know? And also as a lesson, like, all right. You're yeah, and, and also, also sleep with one eye open, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, so you play Rafe and you're kind of the instigator here. You're like, hey, dude, go mm -hmm. for it. Go for it. <laughs> Well, aren't all good, uh, good buddies, you know, um, um, besties, aren't they that? Even if something's not good for you, they kind of want you to have the experience. I don't, I'm not sure what that is about friends. It's like, it could be slightly dangerous. It may not be quite good for you, but at the same time, you know, you only live once. So it's not your life. So you're kind of willing to tell that person to go ahead and jump. Even when you, even if you probably yourself would not jump. So it's, yeah. Vegas, there's you know, what happens in Vegas. Okay. And there's some twists and turns that I did not see coming, which is good because uh, obviously the title suggests fatal attraction, you know, that kind of storyline, yeah. but then it just turns it on its head. Yeah, yeah, that's how I think Dion likes to do it. He likes to pull the person in with certain um, traditional you know, things that people kind of are attracted to. The fatal attraction thing is something that has been played out for, you know, many years since the 1987 film premiere. And I'm a big fan of that film. So anytime I see a film like that, it, it you know, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I don't think you can go wrong. You have to, you have to go and check it out and see what it is. I think there are templates of great films and this is one of those um, kind of films. And we are not, you know, immune to sort of using that as a way of getting people to look at it. But again, Dion, like you said, turned it on its head a little bit there. So you will be surprised. Can you think of anyone who might want to harm you? Friends? Family? Or a woman you screwed? It's also visually stunning. You see the, uh, Michael Ely's character lives in this really great place yeah. on top of LA. So it's like you're seeing a lot of successful Black people in this story. It was a nice house. Yeah, nice cars. People are dressing really nice. Um, you know, Dante Spinotti, uh, the, the DP, wonderful wonderful um man visionary you can see you can see it in every frame the way it looks it's just really really sleek and so i think that really appeals to the to the audience you know and who doesn't want that uh turntable thing for your oh. car in your driveway yeah I like that i was remember i remember visiting that house and um that was one of the things that caught, caught my eye i think they call it like a turntable or a lazy susan um mm -hmm. i've seen it a few times it's one of those things if you have multiple cars and you have a limited amount of space, it just turns it around for you. You don't have to reverse it. It just makes it, oh, it's a, it's a nice, you know, little thing to have, you know, it's a nice little thing to have. Well, you just confirmed it's a real thing. Cause I thought, did they just make that for the movie? They, 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 those things that I, that drive where you come down, literally you get on a turntable, you can go back out the same way you came in. It just makes life so much easier. It does. Man. It's, it's Nothing, nothing short of extravagant, extraordinary, and um, opulence, you know, bougie. I don't know how you can say, I don't know what else you can say about it. <laughs> and these characters are very bougie, you know, they're like on the high end. Bougie. A little bit of bougie that's going on there. And this is the second time you work with Dion Taylor, right? It is, it is. Uh, I, we actually filmed this first, and this is my first experience working with him, learning how he likes to just take things off the page and really just take the script and, as a starting point, and then go in with the actor on the day and sort of give notes and find a way to inspire the scene, what the scene is about, and just go in and with the direction and see how it goes. And you sometimes you're ad-libbing, sometimes you'll stop with taking it, try it, say, try it this way. And then he'll say, you know, he'll, he'll say, try it that way. And before you know it, you, what you have is something that feels, you know, alive and something that feels spontaneous. And that's what's really good about working with him. He lets you kind of trust, he trusts you, the actor, the artist, he's how, what he can draw out of you. And I think that works really well. Now, did you get to work with Hilary Swank? I don't recall any scenes with her. No, no scenes again with her. So it's like we're here, another film, we're together and no scenes <laughs> together. But yeah, we caught up together on set. So it's been, it, it was fun. And what's it like working with Michael Ely? He's so, for some reason, he's attracted to these sort of roles. He played like a stalker in one of them. <laughs> so it's funny yeah. to see him on the other end on this one. Stalk, stalk, yeah, yeah. It's, you know, he's a big guy. You know, I think, I think, you know, like you said, he's attracted to these kind of roles. And I think sometimes, you know, these roles find you. I don't know that he's looking for, you know, necessarily to, you know, that kind of role. 
But, you know, again, that's how our business is. That's how we are as artists. I think sometimes things find us and we have to just sort of allow it and accept it or not. And I think, you know, he, he's looking for a way to do things on both ends of the spectrum to be the hunted and to be, and to be the hunter, you know, mm -hmm. maybe. Well, people like these kind of films. I mean, there's a big attraction they, to them, right? They, yeah, they do get butts in the seats.